Okay, this is a quick video um, just to talk to you about uh, hexagons and other polygons that you might need. So this is an example um, where we need to create a, a hexagonal extrusion. Um, so to begin with, how, how do we actually draw that shape? So this is the one we're going to draw. We've got a hexagon and we've got a dimension there that says it's 60 AC. Now AC means across corners. So you can dimension a hexagon either by going across the corners or AF, which will be across the flat. So that will be from top to bottom. So if we go to on shape and I'm in a sketch, I'm in sketch one and we've got this tool here called the, the polygon tool. Um, <clears throat> two options, an inscribed and a circumscribed polygon. If I go for the circumscribed polygon to begin with, if I click on that and I click in the middle of my sketch, I'm going to bring it out. You can see I've now got, I've got a hexagon and I've got a circle around the hexagon. Um, and I'm going to snap the uh, point that my cursor is hovering over so that it's horizontal to the center. You see that's just picking it up. So if I do that, <coughs> that's locked the, the position of it. But now when I move the mouse, it's changing the number of sides. So what I can do is I can either select the one I want uh, and click. Now, if I've got that wrong, what I can do is I can press the escape key. I can double click on that number and I can put in the one I actually want. Now, <coughs> because we linked that point there, making it horizontal, my hexagon's locked. If you don't do that, you'll need to find some other way of, of positioning the angle of your hexagon. So maybe using a, a horizontal line and to make this top edge horizontal. From a size point of view, if we go back to that one there, this one that said it was 60 across corners, um, you'll notice on the model here that the circle is going through the corners. So a circumscribed polygon means that the circle is going at a right rate around the outside. So all the corners are on the circle. So all I need to do is select the circle and make that 60. <clears throat> and that will give me a polygon, hexagon, that is 60 across the corners. If I wanted to do a... Um, at the other hand, if I was given the dimension across the flats, I could use the inscribed polygon. So if I go for this one here. Now, if I um, bring that out, let's see again. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm offering, hovering vertically above the origin with the middle of this face, this flat rather. And again, I can make the polygon whatever it is. So make it a hexagon. Make it six. You see now the circles on the inside. So if I make that circle a diameter of, let's just call it 100 for now, then that circle, oops, 10, that's better, that circle, so that polygon is going to have a dimension of 100 across the flats. So it's not across the corners, it's across the flats. If you're not sure which one to use to begin with, um, there's obviously nothing to stop you from putting the size on afterwards so i say it's across the flats i could just go between the flats there and make that 60. okay hopefully that helps how to create um, a hexagon and how to give it a dimension if i was going to be going on to make this shape now i would obviously use the extrude tool to turn that hexagon sketch into an extruded hexagonal prism